All right. What are we going to do today? So many exciting things. One, we're going to talk about the energy of where we are right now. Wonderful, magnificent energy as every single fractal is mag magnificent. Delia wants me to wear my pearls, and you know what? They always feel so good. Um, why do I wear them? One, they're very ladylike. And in addition to that, they're pearls of wisdom. So before I get on, I set the intention when I put my pearls on that I will be able to um, not only disseminate information, pearls of wisdom, if you will, that I happen to know and not be knowledgeable about from being a seeker of um, inner truths and spirituality since I started dreaming about monks, or should I say bald guys in orange robes when I was a little girl. I didn't even know they were monks at the time all the way every day up until my 64th year so um, for all those for all the insights that i've gained over that time as well as the pearls of wisdom that are going to drop into my consciousness as we are live in real time and real space which i hope you know is we hope you know transcends all of no time and all of no space, because if you're understanding what the noosphere is, I've never used that word before on a live broadcast before, the noosphere, the universal field of consciousness. If you know that the unknown is the source, and that's what we're talking about today. We are talking about your innate source of consciousness, which is is the energy that we're all synchronistically working with together right now. And on this beautiful full moon, how exciting is this? We are talking about the energy of the sun, the in, a lightning connection to our unification with source, everything that there is, everything that the, all of the unknown of time and space. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So welcome. I am Jamie Lynn, innate magnetic serpent. What does that mean? I magnetize the initiate. I am the magnetic initiate, initiate, which happens to be one, pay attention now, one of 260 energies, which we are all one of those 260 energies that we unify with source. I was born magnetic initiate. You were born one of the other 260 energies that we are all here together in no space and in no time, in all space and in all time to synchronistically join together in transcending into helping each other evolve into consciousness. And that time is no better than now. We are, as a reminder, we are in the time of the indigenous prophecy. Every single indigenous pers uh, culture that existed before us uh, in our past lives, we sent messages to ourselves in order to be prepared for the time and space that we're in right now. So we're going to today do, do delve deep into our innate source, our connection to our innate energy and our enlightening connection. We are also going to explore where we have been over the past 13 days and how important that was for our conscious evolution, if you are paying attention. Now, if you're paying attention, whether you're conscious of these energies or not, it you know whether you're paying attention to them and not it's like having the wind at your sails so you're either in hmm, sync with the these energies that are accessible to you or even even whether you're paying attention to them or not but as you know what you put attention to grows your manifestation what you think about you become what you wire in your consciousness, you start radiating with your heart. So that is, um, I am that I am, Delia. Very good. Um, Tatsat from a uh, Buddhist tradition. I am that I am. And to confirm, 
today we are stepping into our 13 days that the wind is in our sails with enlightening connection our relationship to our innate source that's what we're gonna we're gonna have a meditation to really activate those energies in a second we're gonna so we're so we're gonna review where we are what we experienced the last 13 days and how valuable of a time that was and we are going to talk about where we are now and how we can uh, accelerate the 13 days of how we can unify within our, our source and and you know while we're in the full moon you know the moon this is so beautiful you know and I don't know what you know I have an agenda here but I don't know what's going to come up for me I don't know what's going to be downloaded and this is what just came up for me now the moon what is the moon energy how do we see the moon yeah, we're all paying attention. We're all grooving on the fullness here. And, you know, we're maybe going a little crazy and all that. But it is a reflection of the sun on our earth. And that is the energy we're in now. The sun, the source of all energies, the source of why we're even alive. And if, in fact, the sun, if we look at it from an astronomical perspective and a scientific perspective, if, in fact, the sun didn't exist, we could not exist. And what I love so much about galactic spirit, it comes from a sun even bigger than our own. 25 times bigger than our own. It, these energies are galactic and they're dropping in from the sun, Cirrus. 25 times stronger than our own. So when we think about regular astrology, galactic astrology, the energies that I'm sharing with now, you with now are 25 strong percent, no, not percent, times stronger than the energies of our sun which is the source of our all of our existence every plant that we grow every breath that we take and on this full moon when we're looking at it we have a chance to see that reflection of that light within ourselves <gasps> breathe into that how does that feel let's talk about the energies of feeling you know, everybody, you know, old school is talking about all the chakras and how all the chakras are aligned. Well, guess what, boys and girls? Guess what, galact beautiful galactic spirits? All of the other chakras are supporting the two big guys. What are the big guys? All the lower chakras are giving stability and foundation for your heart. Scientifically, your heart developed before anything else when you were an embryo. And your pineal gland, your third eye. All the uppers coming down from your crown chakra are supporting your pineal. And these two are the marriage of both of them where we, it, when we feel the relationship as we look at the moon. <gasps> When we tap into moon or sun energies with our pineal gland, our third eye, we see the unseen. You know, we're in a time and space right now that is the unknown and it might be scary to some. But the more you're paying attention to your galactic spirit, the more conscious you are of these energies that are dropping into us every single day, which were gifted to us by the galactic Mayans that the ancient Mayans hid in quantum codes for us to decipher now to awaken us into the unknown where it's not so scary. Then we can step into our innate inheritance as we step into the unknown, as we feel the multi dimensions of what our heart is longing for. Breathe into your heart resonance. 
feel the innate truth of the energies that I'm sharing with you, remember, I my energy of the 260 energies are magnetic initiate. I go through initiations every day to evolve my personal transcendence. Because I'm called, that's on one side, that's on the yin side, on the yang side, heard this before? You guys groove what I'm talking about? On the yang side, I am taking my magnetic abilities to initiate you into magnifying your consciousness for deeper enlightening connection, which is the cycle that we're in right now. Just take your heart chakra and feel that. So many scientists now, so many quantum scientists now, for example, the Dr. Joe Dispenza's, the Dr. Jo, uh, Greg Braden's, the Dr. Joe uh, Lipton, Bruce, thanks Bruce, Bruce Lipton, thanks for dropping in actually do scientific studies where they plug your 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 entire electromagnetic being into devices that can measure how your brain is think how your brain is rewiring your possibility for manifestation and it works so much better the chart, you, you go off the charts in your personal ability when you feel the energies that we're talking about. Not just going, oh, manifestation, I'm going to do my affirmation, I'm going to do my affirmation. No. Supercharge it with your supercharged human superpower, your ability to synchronize your heart chakra with your crown chakra, with your third eye chakra, because here you're tapping into the great beyond, the great unknown, the auric field, your infinite resource, your enlightening capabilities into the galactic darkness of ta transcending time and space with your emotion. Are you in fear or in you? are you in love, which is what the heart was built for? Breathe into that. Feel it. It feels true, right? Whether you're watching this video now live with me, and I'm so grateful for everyone that's here with me right now, because on my three dimensions, in my physical time and space, not my emotional, not my spiritual, but in my physical time and space, it's so comforting knowing that you're there. However, if you're watching this later, 10 minutes from now, an hour from now, two years from now, since there's no time and space, the truth of you being able to connect to these energies is pure galactic spirit because we are transcending our physicality. Some of the, some of the masters... Who just came in for me? Gosh, you, um, gosh, what is that? I see him. Anyway, let's talk about Jesus. You know, here's this nice Jewish girl talking about Jesus. It's okay. I was thinking about autobiography of a yogi, that guy where he talks about how he's able to transcend time. Every, if not, none of, hang on, the book's right here. If you haven't read this book, Autobiography of a Yogi, read it. Favorite book of all time. Why? Because, because, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yogananda, thank you. That was the consciousness that I was trying to drop in. Yogananda, you didn't come in to help me. That's okay. Um, Yogananda even talks about magical yogi, yoga, yogi. He says that we can transcend time and space. That's what Jesus did. How did he walk on water? He took 
or how or how did Moses divide the Red Sea? Yes, you know, science says maybe, you know, there's always these justifications through science and everything, but the reality is we are beings of light and we can be in multiple places at the same time. That's how we can um, visit our loved ones. The other day I was in the garden and I wasn't able to see my friend James came, come in, but I was working with my husband. My husband saw him come in, and I know that was true because James visited me before, and he's been gone off planet in an ethereal body for 13 years. How can we live in our etherical bodies, heaven on earth, which is what our intention is doing now? That is the purpose of this time. That is the purpose of galactic spirit. That is the purpose of our enlightening connection. So we'll drop into that specifically, very, very deep in a few minutes. Where have we been? We've been in the house of healing. We've been, this emoji is the house of hand. So when you look at all your of your galactic spirit and when you're paying attention, have a look at your daily energy. How are you feeling? How are you taking advantage of the energies that are there? And what did you learn from it as you are moving through these energies with the wind at our sails? Where were we? House of healing. I know I was tapped out. I didn't have anything left to give you, so, so I stepped away from these broadcasts because they're very energetically depleting for me. I mean, I really have to um, step into sacred space to be able to do that. I hope to learn how to be in healing with my intuitive knowing. This is one of the energies as I'm sharing these broadcasts with you. So therefore, I'm not so energy de energetically depleted. So I took off. I planted. I spent more time in nature. What did you do in the last 13 days to be able to be prepared for the now? There is no past. There is no future. There is just than now and where were we on this cycle for fun so you have an idea of how this works we were in hand every day we transcended with another beautiful galactic energy for 13 days these are fractals of hand I know Delia knows what we're talking about if you don't know what I'm talking about it's okay You'll get it. I remember when I started teaching feng shui 25 years ago, there was a lot of information that I needed to share with you. And I, and I learned how to say, just take the energy, file it away. It will come back when you need it. So here we're in hand. Actually, I'm going to show it to you in a different way in a second. And now we've done fractals of hand. And now we are, today is the first day, the magnetic day of enlightening connection. So where are we now? This is where we are. I'm following my agenda pretty good, don't you think? You know, I'm a Gemini and, you know, I see things in the broader picture and my mind starts thinking faster than my mouth can do. So I'm kind of like multitasking in my brain. It's just the way my brain works. But, you know, if any, whenever any of you watch my um broadcasts know that they are spontaneous they are not rigid it's kind of not my way um and what happens is i always come back so never worry just file what you need to in your brain and all the energies will come back to you okay so here we are in the cycle of enlightening connection innate inheritance unified with source after coming through an entire 13 days of inner knowing, healing. What does healing mean? You know, journal, you, know, to do, you, know, you might want to do on your journal. What does healing mean to you? Is it, mental, is it mental healing? Is it physical? Is it spiritual healing? And how is your healing going to relate to how you are transcending into your enlightening connection? 
See how they all work together? All of these around the circle, you can kind of see them better here. Um, at, same on the, the backboard there. These are all fractals of universal wholeness, just like me being magnetic initiate. You are one of the 20, 260 energies of wholeness. And by the way, everybody, if you want to, you can send me a little note through Facebook, and I'm happy to tell you what your innate energy is. So that's just a little giveaway. And remember, I do this out of love. I don't make any money on it. I just want to be a participant in the transformation of us stepping into a new world of consciousness. So here we're going. Here we are. Day number one. Uh, day number one of enlightenment. And as we move around these 13 days, there are fractal energies, which we're going to tease you about in a second. But what we are doing, let me get rid of the condom here. What we are doing, here's day number one, and we are moving up the ascension spiral of enlightening connection. The same way, last 13 days, we moved up the ascension cycle of healing, of greater intuitive knowing of greater embodying accomplishments. So where are we now? We are at the magnetic energy, day number one, of where are we going with our relationship, with our connection to source? Breathe into that. Breathe into your connection to source. So I hope I can do this two-fisted. Where are we going now? Itchy nose. All right. Day no Let me show you where we're going. Day number one is a double day. Day number one, you know what, I'm going to do this. I think it'll be easier to handle. Um, day number one, if we were doing this every day, and I don't think I'm going to do it every day. Um, it's just a little bit too much for me uh, to share with you. But day number one today, we are embodying our potential. We're feeling the energy of our body to how does it feel like, what does it feel like to embody when we're enlightened? By the way, you know, as soon as you think that you're enlightened, is the second that it goes away. That's why in galactic spirit requires you to practice, to be able to hold that energy, to be able to hold your innate intelligence into source. Day number two, as we spiral up, spiral up, our enlightening connection, our 13 days. Let me see if I can do this double fisted. Let me try. I'm trying something new today because I want you all to get it. And yeah, I'm considering I'm not doing this every day, but just so you know, everybody, um, in the link that I will share with you at the top of this page, you will get a link to um, galacticspirit.com to the specific page where you can get the energies in your email or directly on my website with a little video um, real, so you can really feel the energies. Okay, day number two is to see the two dots there. Day number two in your enlightening connection. It's like, how are you overcoming duality with redefining your destiny? Now, this is a fractal. These are all, these little guys are fractals of your enlightening source your innate connection with your unification with source. You getting it? So even though on May, what, March 30th, the reason why I remember it is because that was the first day of the, dra the full dragon 13 days. Let me see if I can get this for you. Here you go. Yay, I did it. Okay, um, we did a 13 days of dragon. 
So if you were paying attention to the fir first 13 days of Dragon, which is all about redefining your destiny, repurposing your life, rebirthing your future, then you're pretty solid with this energy right now. And as a reminder, I think this is the grooviest thing ever. Dragon, the first day, the first day of the dragon cycle started pretty much during, at our lockdown. If that's not coincidental, synchronistic, I don't know what is. How do you go inward to redefine your life purpose? Pay attention to how these energies work. Because if you're paying attention to how these energies work, you will see them in your life, your mind, body, spiritual life, and you'll surrender more fear. There's an energy, hopefully it'll come, you know, you'll surrender more fear. You'll be more excited about the unknown. You'll tap into your your um the field you'll con you'll tap into your um galactic spirit you'll connect into our relationship with each other as we are going to do in a few minutes as we activate these energies breathe into that and see how that feels engaging your heart chakra sing the truth in your pineal gland in your third eye we're going to use them a few in a few minutes Okay, so day number two tomorrow. If you're familiar with Dragon, which we just reviewed just now, Dragon, by the way, I'm seeing and I'm seeing you guys um, participate. I'll come back in a little bit, okay, guys, because I'm kind of on a roll here and I don't want to lose my my um, stream. Um, so day number two, we're going into Dragon. Oh, oh wrong one. Dragon of Sun. Dragon of Sun means how are you redefining your life purpose within your enlightening connection? Are you getting this? Day number three, that will be, I don't, um, I don't do lineal time very well. This will be Sunday, Mother's Day. Ah, Mother's Day, day number three. How are you electrifying action? How are you with compassionate action speaking your spiritual voice with your divine breath for enlightening connection? How are you going to do that? The wind will be at your sails. Go online, get it by email. I'm giving you teasers about it. So let's, let's look at this. Day number four of your enlightening connection. It's day number four, self-existing night. Quantum synergy of multidimensional abundance. Mind, body, spiritual abundance. Going into the unknown within your innate intelligence. I know this is a big mouthful, but when you understand these energies separately and we do these one at a time every 13 days, these fractals become your superpower because we are all part of this energetic wholeness. Multidimensional abundance. Breathe into that. Let's power through these. Day number five. I don't want you to miss any of them. Day number five is trusting and about, and I'm just doing little snapshots of these just to show you how this works. Day number, day number five, you're going to trust and empower. How do you empower? What does empowerment mean? Embodying personal power. Embodying consciousness empowering consciousness with your innate inheritance with your enlightening connection day six serpent that's me i already told you what it was i am a magnetic initiate if you're the serpent energy you're initiate also serpent all about passion, about seeing multidimensional realities through being inquisitive, wanting to know the answers. Judeo-Christian mythology, sorry I'm using that word, uh, taking the bite of the apple. Oh, I'm naked. Ah, I'm thinking about whether I have clothes on or not. Initiating passion, taking a bite of the apple. Um, the apple of the apple. Are you 
being excited? Are you taking a bite of the apple on the sixth day to initiate your enlightening connection? I'm so out of order here. Next day, we're going to power through these. Are you going to are you going to resonate with your truth and authenticity with ultimate surrender? This is world bridger. The traditional world for world bridger is death. I don't like that word. I don't like that word because because there is no death. We are always world bridgering time and space. If you understand there's no time and there's no space. How did James come see my husband yesterday out in the garden? He's been he's been off planet, off world in a multi in another dimension, transcending time and space for ten years now. Because he ultimately surrendered, but he can still tap in. This is what we do. This is how we surrender to our fears. We let go of our energies because we, I mean, we let go of our fears as we adventure into our enlightening connection to unify with source and be able to trust that we are multidimensional beings. That was the energy of, of a few days ago. The night energy. Okay, I don't, I'm slipping all over the place here because these are very slippery cards. But I want you to see how these energies are working as we go through this 13-day cycle of magnificent transformation, magnificent ascension for greater connection into our innate source, into our sun cells. Sun cells. Sun son the sustainer of all life breathe into that if there wasn't the sun energy we would have no life nothing would be alive on this planet that's why we have to take care of our beautiful mother earth because really the sun doesn't care whether we're here or not to tell you the truth what we care what what the, you know mother earth cares that we're here and we need to take action otherwise she's going to move on without us what is this day number 9 let's just power through these this is where we're going everybody intentional emotion with heart coherence I love the star. It's all about beauty. Native Americans talk about the beauty way. How are you living the beauty way? How are you living, recognizing all the beauty that exists in the world with your enlightening connection? Crystal monkey. Don't take so much don't take so much so seriously. Have fun, have play. Be it be a manifester. How can you take your play and make it so? Life's too short to be so serious. I love monkey. You know, it's interesting because monkey, you know, sometimes, you know, we come in with, we are born with energies that we need. You know, that's why we come in, that's why we embody on the planet. Otherwise, we would be ethereal beings like James, hanging out in the ethers, playing in no space and no time. But we're ethereal, ethereal beings, and we come in to the planet with contracts that we make with our soul, our innate source, to say, what do I want to learn in this lifetime? My Chinese astrology is a monkey. And when I love and what I love is looking at monkey from a galactic spirit perspective because it's what did I tell you 25 times stronger than western or chinese astrology because it's based upon the energy of Cirrus which is 25 times larger than our sun 25 times more powerful adventuring into the unknown and by the way for those of you who are going how does Cirrus relate to planet earth well we're all in that electromagnetic pull and guess what dear galactic spirits every july 25th the the sun Cirrus relates to our beautiful mother earth our, our Gaia because it aligns with our horizon on July 25th which is the galactic new year and by the way since I'm on a roll here why is new year's 
Now here's my initiating magnetic mind saying, why is New Year's in the middle of winter when it's the New Year should be the time of an evolutionary newness? Gosh, even the, West, the Western astrologers got that right, for sure. There's a lot of truth in Western and Chinese astrology. I'm not dismissing it at all, at all, ever. But what I am saying is galactic astrology is way bigger because it relates to the time of now and energies that we have not as yet seen yet because they're unknown. We don't know what they are. We don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. You know, people talk about the new normal. What the heck is that? And if you, my dear galactic spirit, have a perception of what the new normal is, you are mistaken. Because what you are doing is you're having a preconception of what you think it's going to be like, which means you are not open to the field of infinite possibilities because you don't know. Dr. Joe Dispenza makes it so clear. He says, when you, when you are, um, ha whatever you have in your belief system is already in your body. It's already in your mind. It's already in your third dimensional consciousness. Well, how do you know what fifth dimensional consciousness is? Because it doesn't exist yet. And any new brilliant idea and stepping into the unknown is never, ever a preconditioned thought. They drop in as completely unknowns. Like, where did that come from? <sighs> Before we finish the 13th, the preview of preview, the view of your potentiality. I want to tell you. Something that happened to me scared the piss out of me. Why not? It was the unknown for sure. But this is my perception of transcending fear in a three-dimensional reality because it happened to me. I'm a scuba diver, at least I used to be. I'm not really so inclined to do that these days, just not. You know, I like to follow my bliss. You know, I'm just not predestined to do that. But I was taking a master dive certification course where um, it was a night dive. And they were supposed to drop us in, in the ocean, not just this little safe little swimming pool, or not just a little river, or not just a little lake. I dropped into the Atlantic Ocean. When the ocean itself, the, it was not a full moon, the ocean was black, completely black. We missed our dusk, so there was no, there was no left from our, no light left from our beautiful sun. Maybe the moon hadn't risen yet. I think it was planned on a new moon, but the reflection of the sun wasn't up yet. And I dropped into a vat of blackness. And it was like, oh, my God. Meanwhile, I have trouble equalizing my nose. For anybody who's ever scuba dived before, a lot of people can just jump in and go right to the bottom. It does All the added pressure of the um, different atmospheres don't affect other people. It affects me terribly because my nose doesn't work properly. Say so you learn something about me every day. You know, so, so, so I have to go down really, 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 really slowly. So as I'm going down to, to, to equalize my nose, otherwise my, my head explodes and my ears pop and it's really uncomfortable and I can't stay down. It's terrible. Okay, so I dropped into this black void. And, I, and the dive master, who had his little flashlight, and all my other group, which had their little flashlights, their uh, waterproof flashlights, are gone. I can't see a freaking thing. I'm in the black hole of this vast ocean, life-changing experience. My, my only resource to being alive is popping up to the surface and breathing air because I had a regulator on. Feel how scary that was. 
So, you know what, when we get to the activation point, everybody, this is what I want you to do, exactly what I did. I went into my mind, day number three, which is the day that you work on your mind. Every, every day on the ascension progress, you activate a little bit of yourself based upon the galactic code and the integration of the galactic code. That's what you do every day. I dropped into a play. At first, I was scared shitless. Oh, my God. I'm either going to die because I'm in the blackness of the unknown. I can't even breathe without my regulator. Or I'm going to trust that everything will be okay. That's what we need to do now. And these energies will help you because they're training your mind, body, and spirit and etherical beings. They're training your galactic spirit. It's training your relationship between your heart and your feelings and your third eye to see the unseen, to step into that void, to drop into that blackness and to breathe into it. And as it was to finish the story, I started breathing slowly. I was trained for this. I was trained to breathe into my regulator slowly. Instead of <laughs> fight or flight, <laughs> fight or flight, fight or flight, breathe into it. And slowly I started my ascension, my descension into the blackness. We're just flipping it. We're, we're ascending slowly into our ascension into the blackness of that dive in the pitch black, knowing that I would be safe. Oh, Delia, thank you. Thank you for sharing your accomplishment from the last 13-day cycle. I, I, I would love to get more interaction here because that's what's going to show you the synchronicity of how valuable each day is and how valuable each of these 260 energies are to transform your life and to step into your this transcendence of what we are going through at this profound time and space, which, by the way, everybody, only happens every 26,000 years. It's pretty fucking remarkable. Beep. Day number 10, we're going to go in, this is lovely, we're going into fluid transcendence in, with our sun, with progressive synchronicities. We were just talking about synchronicities of the day. Look how synchronistic that is to pull the, to pull the day number 10 card. And what progressive synchronicity means is watching how one synchronicity flows into the other for your transcendence. Day number um, 11, 11, integrate and dissolving into wholeness. Jan, you're a dog. Dog is unlimited. You know, we were talking, Jan, oh, you're, you're a dog. Love above all else, super heart resonance. You, you're a wonderful feeler. You can turn that into beaming that energy to our planet. That's how we all work together. Mine is to initiate passion and magnetize passion. That's what I do. Jan loves everybody. Delia, Delia's sister, she's an initiator too. She embodies it. I magnetize it. This is how these energies work. So day number 11, we're dissolving into our hearts with enlightening connection. Day number 12, we're crystallizing the it. Is that day number 12? Yes, it is. I don't know how I jumped to monkey before, but I did. We got a little out of sequence. No worries. Um, they're all fractals of wholeness. You'll catch up because, you know, the energy of the day is the energy of the day. So um, the crystal, um, crystallizing is crystallizing your vision of your 
enlightening connection of your innate self of your unification with source and when you crystallize your vision what does that with magic play and joy not taking it so seriously what happens you start it becomes you you don't have to think about it anymore it is who you are and then the 13th day i love the energy of wholeness human sorry the energy of human these are all energies of wholeness, everybody. Sorry, I misspoke. Um, human. Human is not is influencing wisdom and being willy, willing. Now, the 13th day is gratitude. But it's also taking on the responsibility of compassionate action. Not only are you fulfilled in your journey through the 13 days your ascension into how are you more unified with source but how are you willing that's what humans about how are you willing to engage your consciousness with the with the inner work you're doing to transcend capacity i love human well you're not supposed to love one more than the other i love every single one of them but i love human because it's not all about your free will which is about everything you know your free will is about okay are you going to you know when we come out of this thing are you going to go back to your life as normal these are the people that you're watching in your Facebook thread said, oh, I want to get back. I want to get back to my business. I want to get back to, you know, all these things that I'm used to. It's not going to happen. The galactic Mayans, the ancient Mayans predicted all this. It's not going to happen. So what's going to, but what is going to happen if you're thinking that it's going to go back to normal, what's happening is in your mind, you're going to stay exactly where you are and you're going to watch others transcend, whatever that means for you. And we all have conscious choice. We all have our ability to be free willing in our, and this is where we're going with this 13 day cycle. We all have conscious choice. We all have free will about where we are going into the way we look at our enlightenment that's the power of these 13 days at the end of this 13 days we can be light years away from where we are now in our in in our state of being because we have the capacity to go through all these micro energies these fractals of wholeness and engage with source on a way that we won't experience only one cycle in these 260 days so if you practiced if you did practice your healing and your intuitive knowing just think how more much more ahead that you will be when you get to this place 13 days from now as we go around the wheel here we are at sun we're going to be of sun sun in the human in the cycle of sun where we can really be grateful for how much we've learned on this journey of enlightenment and how we crystallized the vision not only within ourselves but became that beam within ourselves because we were able to dissolve the energy Look how I'm going backwards. Look how I'm going backwards. We dissolve the energy into our consciousness. So we are always in between. We're, we're you know, just because it's day by day, energy by energy, all of these energies are all part of our wholeness. So wherever we are on the day, we can tap into all of them, which are our objective in wholeness is to become that transcendent soul that the galactic spirit that all the indigenous people predicted the time and space that was happening now breathe into that
quick activation. We've been on for a long time because I was only planning on doing maybe, I don't know what I'm planning on doing right now. This was the one that I'm doing for the, this is the broadcast of my 13 days. Remember, you can go on um, galacticspirit.com. There's free activations there. You can see the energies every day. They're right there for you to grab as well as you can get them in your email. And I'll have that in the link. But as we're breathing into our objective of transcending the 13 days, we are magnetizing day number one, today's magnet, our ability to evolve, transcend into all of these energies, tapping into the micro fractals of wholeness, powerful, potent transformation, each transformational in their own right. The same way we, whatever our innate energy is, again, I am magnetic initiate, whatever your energy is, we are fractals of each other. I am another yourself, the Mayan say in La Cash. The Buddhist, the Buddhist and the yogi, yogini say namaste. The light in me honors the light within you. I am that, somebody posted before. I'm Tatsat. I am you. You are me. And all these energies are integrating into our connection to godliness, our connection to source. Breathe. We are not on day number one. We are not on day number 13. We are in the energies, the 260 fractals of wholeness. My energy, my innate, my innate initiate, my magnetic initiate is tapped into your innate personal energy of the 260. In synchronicity, in unity, unified with the connection to our universal field of infinite wholeness into the unknown. Doesn't matter if you're watching now or if you're watching later, because there is no time, there is no space. Tap in. Breathe. I don't know if you know what the Taurus, ener Taurus, T-O-R-O-S energy looks like. Let me try to do a visualization with you. Take your heart chakra, go up to the top of your crown chakra and bring it back down into the bottom of your feet and bring it up through the bottom of your feet, completing a circuit of electromagnetic energy energy and see the circuit of electromagnetic energy in 30 360 degrees it's not flat that's two dimensions it's not three dimensional x and y coordinates it's on every variable of those 360 degrees Feel your 360 degree electromagnetic field unified with source. Feel it. And bring that energy for now. A few inches above your head. While it's a few in, um, um, inches above your head, let's ground it into your feet and take that sphere into the core of Mother Earth and root yourself. And while you're there, give Mother Earth, Pachamama, a charge. I love you, Pachamama. 
I love you, Mother Earth. Thank you for the gravity. Thank you for holding me down, providing stability and groundedness. And my ability to be alive at this time. My goodness, what a blessing and a treasure. If you're stepping into the unknown with love and light and the energy of all possibility. Hold your groundedness. Come back to the few inches above your head. Expand your 360 beautiful galactic spirit into the blackness of the cosmos, like the story I told you before about how I dropped into the blackness of the ocean. And instead of breathing, fight or flight, I stepped into calm and rhythmic breath and trust move up into the void, into the blackness, into the ever-expanding galactic space, transcending time and space. And just be as far up there as you can go. This is your fifth dimension. And see yourself as a sun. Emoji of sun. See yourself as a sun. But you think it, think of it as a star. Because, you know, we have a relationship with our sun because our sun is there and we call it sun. But every star is a sun. You are a sun in the galaxy, twinkling your beautiful starlight. Oh, breathe into that, feel it. With unlimited possibility. We don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring. Don't predict the future. If you predict the future with our limited capabilities, guess what? That's what you're going to manifest. You know, for years, all the contemporary mystics are saying, oh, infinite possibility. This is how you do it with your galactic spirit. with transcending time and space and activating your fractals of wholeness with unlocking these quantum codes that we were given. I love you so much. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't love you. I wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't be sharing this. I wouldn't be magnetizing your initiation as I initiate myself today into becoming better today than I was yesterday. I wouldn't do it if I didn't love our planet. I wouldn't love, I would not be doing this if I didn't dream about bald guys in orange robes when I was a little girl. Remember when we started this journey together, when I started these transitions, we were redefining our future. The emoji of dragon. Redefining our destiny. Here we are. And I love you so much.
I love you so much. And I am so grateful that I happen to have been studying these teachings and how powerful and profound they've been with me for the past 12 years and how they were initiated into my consciousness when I was in college over 35 years ago, I learned about them. I just didn't know how they were going to unfold and I didn't know how they were going to unfold for human consciousness. And certainly, I didn't know I was going to write a book or write seven books or be here now. Well, I'm here now. You're here now. How are we going to take our sun emoji of enlightening connection, of our unification with source, the unlimited potential of ourselves. And not only enlighten ourselves, but to be a beacon for the world. If you're watching this video now or in the future, that's our responsibility. We have to be grateful within our hearts that we are evolving ourselves, our consciousness, that we are stepping into wholeness. But how are we going to be beings of light? So that person I mentioned before who thinks that their world is going to go back to normal, which it isn't, we can be inspirational to them. We can give them another view. We can, make, we can help them be less fearful. And maybe we can even excite them into being, coming along with us into the new earth, transcending into, I don't know. We don't know. But let's see. And thank you for joining me on this magnificent adventure. You are a magnificent being. And we have the potential to make this a magnificent planet. And how can you prove that to yourself right here and right now before I say goodbye? Look up at our beautiful moon, our reflection. of our sun. Wow, that feels complete, doesn't it? I love you. Talk soon.